Meanwhile, the Tampa Police Department says they're deeply concerned about the gun violence involving young people in our community. In 2023, Tampa officers recovered almost 2,000 guns from the streets. In the same year, 79% of all auto burglaries were in vehicles left unlocked. And from those unlocked cars, 197 guns were stolen. After the shooting, the executive director of Safe and Sound Hillsboro spoke to me about what the organization is seeing. He says the young people who are ordered into their youth gun offender program tell them they're getting guns from cars. And they'll talk to each other all in a group chat or on social media and say, we're going to go to this neighborhood and pick uh, handles of, of cars and see what how many guns we can get out. And they'll sell them back and forth to one another. The organization also says the miners are buying the guns from people who legally buy firearms. When it comes to why kids are getting their hands on guns, they say this is the response they're given. It's simply because everyone else has one, so I feel that I need to. I don't feel safe, and if someone does something to me, I feel I need to have a firearm. As we showed you last night, the amount of minors facing firearms charges are rising. Here you see the numbers for Hillsborough County. We also see an increase in these arrests in Pinellas County. Sheriff Bob Galtieri spoke about the need for stricter laws after a deadly shooting on Christmas Eve involving two teenagers. The problem is, is that today, today it's a misdemeanor. Um, you're not going to get anything. And so they're doing it with impunity. So this year, Florida legislators passed a bill revising the penalties for minors committing firearms violations. We spoke to State Representative Bernie Jacques about the proposed changes, which include a child on probation who is taken into custody on gun charges to be placed in secure detention. And this is what he had to say. If they continue to commit these offenses, they will find themselves in a residential facility. And so this is the next step up from a detention facility. Uh, we are adding a mandatory uh, time spent in detention for the first and second offenses. But by the third, uh, enough is enough. You will be sent off to a residential facility where you will uh, get the message. These kids are doing stupid things, but they're smart enough to know that if they can keep get a, getting away with something over and over and over again, they're going to keep doing it. New tonight, Tampa Mayor Jane Castor released a tweet that reads, I want to assure everyone that Tampa remains a safe city thanks largely to our dedicated Tampa PD police officers and vigilant residents. The swift identification and arrest of suspects in the recent armature work shooting within 24 hours showcases our law enforcement's effectiveness and the power of community cooperation. This unity and our commitment to tackling challenges like keeping guns away from youth are crucial for our city's safety and well-being. Together, we can keep Tampa safe.